this initiative, well, we've started it, for those of you who have been in the assembly with it and, and, and sort of read the review and everything, you've seen it. But I suppose my memory of education is obviously from school. So when I was at school a long, long, long time ago, and I remember it was very much knowledge based, and it was all very much, particularly senior school. Prep school was brilliant, we had a wonderful time, wonderful teachers, which is why I became a teacher and had a brilliant teacher there in English and history. But actually, at senior school, I felt it was all very much knowledge based. And it was all very much avoiding things like skills, avoiding things like characteristics. And we were just told to learn this stuff. We weren't really given much direction as to what to do with it. And you probably remember much the same thing as well. You probably weren't given much idea about what to do with that information, how to plan, how to write an essay, how to answer questions. Very different nowadays. But I still think we can go to another level. And I remember doing a careers talk as a 16, 17 year old and being told that I was going to be a librarian which was interesting. Not that you know, that would have been an interesting role, but actually I don't think it was the path for me, but that's what my form said I was going to be doing. And then of course one starts thinking about what is school for, and you start reading things, and you start understanding, and you start learning, and you know, I've been teaching for a few years, and, and I sort of thought, what do we actually think school's for? Do we, is it is educating for life? Is it knowledge? Is it knowledge and knowing? Is it skills and characteristics? Or is it just a combination of all those different things? So it's a combination of everything to getting children ready to help themselves learn how to get themselves ready for the next stage. And I came across, the, the, there's, there's a couple of people I've been following and reading and understanding all. And one is a lady called Katie Martin, and she's a prolific tweeter, and, uh, and she writes lots of books as well. But one thing she said is, knowing doesn't make you good at something on its own, which is why doing well at school doesn't always translate into success in life. So in other words, just because you're an A-star student doesn't mean pupil, it doesn't mean you're going to be a hero and do brilliantly in the rest of the world, because of course that's just all knowledge, isn't it? So then we started thinking about what is our purpose? What is our purpose at school? And this is obviously what we've been discussing at all sorts of levels at school, and we've been thinking, you know, what's our task? What are we trying to do for your children, for our children, for your children? And as you, as you know, we've got the quote above our reception desk that says our, our, you know, our task is, is not to prepare the children for one thing, but to help them learn how to prepare themselves for anything. Again, written by an American called A.J. Giuliani, which is brilliant, which is very much about helping them prepare for now and helping our children prepare for the future. So it's for the now and it's for the future as well. And so we came across and we were sort of reviewed the ALPs, we reviewed what we did, and then we thought, well, let's, be, let's, let's take it to another level. Let's, let's be, let's be really ambitious with this and let's create a challenging and an ambitious project that is closely aligned with the senior school in terms of world ready and it's going to be knowledge based, it's going to be skills based, it's going to be characteristics based, it's going to be all of those things together so hopefully every child will be able to be equipped with a toolbox which will allow them to succeed at the next stage and succeed today. Obviously you can understand it's a hugely ambitious project but that's, that's the idea, that's the driver behind it. So how's that going to happen? What's our, so that's our purpose. So what's therefore is our process? How are we going to go about doing this? So we've come up with the four characteristics. And you notice those are the four characteristics that end in us. And because the idea is that we're all in it together. And we're trying to do this together with you as parents, with us as staff, with the children as well. You know, that's, that, that's why we do things like those assemblies. It's very important that we all work together and you, you, know, you support it as well. And we support it at home. But actually we get the children to sort of learn from each other as well and learn from their successes and their mistakes as well. And then there's a, there's a brilliant writer and, a, uh, and, and he's a lecturer, he's a, he's, a, he's a professor, I think, maybe I've just elevated him, but he's, he's a guy called Tony, Tony Wagner in America, and he's written this wonderful book called The Global Achievement Gap. I really recommend you read it. And I was reading it over the holidays, and he talks about seven different skills and characteristics that people need. I mean, there's lots of books that, write, that talk about this, but was really interesting. His seven skills and characteristics, I was thinking, well, that's what we're doing in the shape of my world. That's brilliant. That's generous. That's adventurous. That's ingenious. That's curious. Oh, my gosh. We're talking some sense. We've got someone who's done loads of research, huge amounts of research. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, he'd, like, he must have almost been about 10 years in writing this book. But he came up with these, these following things. It's critical thinking, collaboration, oral and written, written communication, adaptability and flexibility, initiative and entrepreneurship, analysis skills, and curiosity and imagination. So critical thinking, collaboration, communication, adaptability and flexibility, initiative and entrepreneurship, analysis skills and imagination and curiosity. And so those, those skills all put together is all about what we're trying to do here, skills and characteristics is what we're trying to do here. And of course it's about working together, growing together, developing together, and trying to make the children independent. 
away from us once they sort of leave. So how does the, how does the process work? So as you know, we've been doing the, the raffle, so that's been sort of getting us going, and that's been sort of getting, you know, that's been the talk, and, and, and you, you've seen information from me from the, at the end of last term. But also, not only we've done the raffle, we're going to go the, the last two weeks of this term. We're going to do a full launch. So uh, Monday the 17th of June, I think it is, Monday the 17th of June, <coughs> we come off timetable and we go into a new timetable. So don't worry, they're not going to just be doing sort of fun things. It's, it's going to be proper, proper, proper. It's, it's a huge plan. It's a huge program. And all the loose ends are still being tied up because that's how complicated it is. And everyone's, we've all got staff buying in and you know, the pupils have been a little bit part of that as well. Um, but... So that will be the two-week launch this term, and then next term we're going to have a weekly lesson, a weekly Shaping My World lesson. Okay, so every, every child will have an opportunity. If they're not here for the lesson, they can catch up. They can catch up with it like they would with a normal lesson. And that's on a Thursday afternoon, so 10 past 4 on a Thursday afternoon. So they'll get a chance to do all this stuff as a lesson, as well as it being part of our culture, what we do. And again... Um, Tony Wagner, he talks about the, the traditional three R's in education. And I love, he's got these three new R's, which I think are just absolutely brilliant. which sit so closely to me, and I think we do this without even realising it. But when someone else says it who's got real authority, you think, oh, maybe we're doing the right thing. And he talks about the three R's being rigour and relevance and relationships. So making sure that what we do has rigour and it is rigorously done, and making sure that it's relevant. I mean, my, my sort of joke with the media ward this morning was obviously tongue-in-cheek, but it's very much about you know, how they are. You know, they are the net generation. Our children grew up with only knowing computers. We grew up with knowing nothing like that. So we obviously got to embrace it and make it relevant for them as well, as well as us saying, get off your device. We often do. And then we're on it, tw tweeting things here. <laughs> there. That, but, uh, but, you know, and about our relationships with them, you know, your relationship with your children, your relationship with other children. I love when I get emails from you saying, that we had a bunch of children over and they were brilliant. Someone sent me a cricket one last week and they, the three RDI children were the only ones who thanked the opposition, which is brilliant. And, but it, and if it goes the other way, please let me know as well You know that they were badly behaved because we need to do something about that because that's really important that we don't, we don't sort of allow that to happen. So then we talk about the us, so that's the, the four words ending in us. So that's about the relationship, that's about doing it together. We, we're going to do with year seven a world of work day on that last Wednesday of term. So if any of you who are around it could fit in really well with your with your work. What we're going to what we're going to do is we're just going to get year sevens together and put some sort of program. I've got a few volunteers already, and for lesson one and lesson three on that last Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday the twenty sixth of June, we're going to put put together. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll organise it. So if you're interested in helping, and there's and there's, a, there's the final assembly in the middle. So the chance are lots of you will be here anyway. But if you want to just talk about come in and talk about what you do, what inspired you to do your jobs just to give the children a huge range of different jobs. I mean, there was one <laughs> wonderful year three wrote the other day on the wall, saying, what do, you, what do your mummy and daddy do? And it was, uh, and the person's in here, so I won't embarrass them by saying who it was, but it was just brilliant. And, and, and they said, uh, daddy, daddy goes around buildings and mummy does jobs around the house. And I, and, I, and I actually thought, hang on a second, that's the most important. That because was him, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't possibly comment, Becky. <laughs> But actually, you know, my, my thoughts on that, you know, the job, that, that's, you know, I've, I've, sort of, I've, become, I've become that in the holidays, so I know what it's about, you know, so, so it's, it's a full-time job, and, that's, and I think that's, you know, those sort of things are really worth sharing with our children, it's, it's not just jobs around the house, okay, you know, it's, 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 that's a, it's a full-time mad job, but yeah, thank you for sharing, thank you. And um, so, so, it's the same for you. So just in conclusion, the world is constantly changing, as we know. You know the, the, our children are going to do jobs that, that probably haven't been invented yet. And I actually think they're going, to, they're going to do rather than be. I think a lot of them are going to do different jobs. So if we can teach them those skills here, they are going to then be able to do the different jobs. You know, with, with, I'm in a, I, I be, I, you know, I, am, I am a teacher, my wife is a doctor. You know, there's easy trades, whereas I think to, to know what it means. But I think they're, 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 there'll be jobs that, they, that we don't know, that don't exist now. So lots of them will be based around computers, robots, all that sort of stuff. And so, so, so those skills about working together, those skills about, well, there's one thing I need to come back to, actually, just so you know. So in terms of how we're going to organise the lessons, this is our, essentially our year timetable. We've broken it down into blocks of eight. So each year group will do an eight-week block of being generous, 
an eight-week block of being adventurous, an eight-week block of being ingenious, and an eight-week block of being curious. And the sort of things that are going to be covered by that is if you're ungenerous, you might be doing compassion and care, you might be doing fairness, you might be doing empathy, you might be doing manners, you might be doing patience, you might be doing self-discipline, charity and service. All of the generous sessions have got a mental health well-being check. They might be doing respecting other people's opinions and values, developing a moral compass being reflective. So that's just one little snapshot of what, how, what generous means for, that was for two years, that was for year five and six. If they're adventurous, it might be planting vegetables and herbs, it might be giving a small talk, it might be doing small talk, you know, can, can you actually hold a conversation with someone, so that sort of thing. It might be cooking a three course meal, we are going to do that, and you're going to have to help with that at home. There'll be how to use the telephone, how to leave a message, how to use Skype, how to use a video. Philosophy and thunking. Thunking, I don't know if any of you have come across it. It's basically, is the room smaller because I've painted it four or five times? It's those sort of things. Hmm, there's not really an answer to that. Mrs. Lee does lots of those sort of stuff, and I know Abby has gone to do lots of that as well. But I'm going to teach the whole school to juggle. I think it'd be really, really good. And we're going to teach the whole school to, do, to learn two or three or four magic tricks. A really important thing. Can they pitch a tent? And then we go with, uh, what am I on to now? Genius. Can they organise an event, a party? Can they manage a calendar? Can they, their study skills, their time management, their strategy games, analysis skills, Lego challenge, magic cars, we've done that one. And then ball games. Yeah, we're going to give them a whole load of balls and they've got to invent, invent a game. Just work together. So can they invent a game? You know, and we've got a session on being bored. <laughs> Don't you love when your child gets up in the morning and goes, what are we doing today? Ah, you decide. <laughs> anyway, you're not going to be on your device all day. And then finally, what have I not done? I haven't done Curious. So Curious is, is we're going to do lots of stuff on you know, so understanding global politics, what's the, how does the world look, some what-if questions. Really important, they ask lots of questions. You know, they, they, they're, they're curious, they're, and, it, and it's, 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 it's the critical thinking that we want them to do, problem solving. So those sort of things, rather than just accepting that they do this because of that particular reason. Um, wealth and poverty, becoming experts on particular countries and then presenting about their, their country they've chosen. World of Work, we talked about, they're going to do first aid CPR. Uh, and, and tying knots, learning how to tie lots of different knots. I mean, that, that is it. I mean, it, it's a huge program. And then there's we've got another tip list of things that we want them to do, like you know, budgeting, um, how, can they read a map, can they, can they make a genuine apology, do they know how to do that? Um, how to do the laundry, there we go, how, how, to, how to read a recipe, it's all the jobs to help you at home, Becky. <laughs> and finally, so the world, as I say, is constantly changing, and we're looking at this, at, you know, this knowledge-based program, and this skills-based program, and this, and this characteristics-based program, so hopefully when they leave, they are, they are brilliant people, and, I, and I'd love to to be in a situation whereby it's, tot it's embedded in school, you know, it's, it's part of our culture, and we can see it in the way that the children are. And it's, it is, as I say, hugely ambitious, but, but there's, a, there's, a, there's the idea that a child would leave when they're 13 or, and then come back and see us, you know, those guys in assembly today, um, you know, sort of Tom and Ollie coming, coming up and just saying, you made, you, you made a difference to the person I am. You know, we, we, with the chance they're not going to say that, but I'd like to know that we've, we've tr at least tried and you know, we could, so could we be the wind beneath their wings as they fly off like the pelican? You know, so that sort of thing. And, it, and I just leave you with the Greek proverb, which I absolutely love, which is: "The society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in." So that's what we need to try. Okay. So good luck. Thank you for your support. There's lots of that in the in the newsletter this week, and there's a bit by Tony Wagner as well. So that is our project. And. I can always produce that for those of you who didn't see it. I just realised that. Was that films or photos?